Hi, this is Miss Fitzmorris, and this is a video about the situation very close to the one you'll see in the cow lab in which a tether ball is flying around a pole. Okay, so a tether ball is just a ball that is tied by a string to a pole, and usually at a beach or a playground, you can hit the ball around, and it goes around this pole in a circle. Okay, so here's our little people, and they're playing with the tether, tether ball. Okay, so the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to try to draw a force body diagram of the forces acting on this ball. So pause this video for a minute and try to draw those forces. All right, so now that you've taken a minute to try to draw those forces, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we have gravity, which is obviously pulling our ball straight down. And actually, the only other force that we have is the tension of the string. If it's already been hit, it's just going around in a circle. Okay, so that's actually the complete force body diagram. Now, the next thing I want you to do, and I want you to try to use circular motion, is I want you to try to write out the Newton's second law equations. So, what would you put into sigma fx equals max? What would you put into sigma fy equals may? Okay, so pause this video, take about 45 seconds, and try to do that. All right, so now that you've given that a try, we can see that the only thing in the x direction is the tension, and that the tension's at a diagonal, so we need to break it into Tx and Ty. Okay, let's say that we know this angle up here, theta, and in this case, then Tx would be t times sine theta, because x is now opposite, and ty will be t times cosine theta, because the y direction is adjacent. Okay, now we're going to put these into our x direction. Okay, so we have, in the x direction, nothing to the right, 0, minus t sine theta is equal to max. But you notice that this thing is moving around in a circle, and so ax is really pointing towards the center, so that's actually our centripetal, for, uh, centripetal acceleration. So ax, and it's negative because it's pointing to the left, is going to be minus vt squared over r. Okay, so now we have two negatives. I'm going to cross these two out. And I have t sine theta is equal to m vt squared over r. In the y direction, I have two forces, and I know that I have t cos theta, or ty, up minus fg down, and it's not moving up and down, so ay has to be equal to zero. Okay, I'm going to plug in t times cosine theta for ty minus mg equals zero, and I can go ahead and I can solve for mg, t cosine theta equals mg. Now, in the case of the cow lab, what you want to do is you're going to want to solve for vt squared, or actually just for vt. So what I want you to do is I want you to take these two final equations, and I want you to try to algebraically solve for vt. Okay, so again, pause this video for a minute. 
try to solve for VT and then check back to see whether or not you are correct. All right, so I want to solve for VT. One thing I can do, I'm going to name these guys equations 1 and equation 2, is I can divide equation 1 by equation 2. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do equation 1 divided by equation 2. As long as I do it on both sides, it's fine. So I have t sine theta divided by t cosine theta. And that's equal to m vt squared over r divided by mg. And the magical thing that I see is that my t's cancel out, my m's cancel out, and sine divided by cosine, you all know from the shoe lab, is equal to tangent theta. So I have tan theta equals vt squared over r, and g stays in the denominator. Okay. Now if I want to get vt by itself, I'm going to bring, multiply both sides by rg, and I have vt squared is equal to r times g tan theta, okay, because these rgs cancel out. My final step is to take the square root of both sides, and I end up with my tangential velocity is equal to the square root of r times g tan theta. All right, so I hope this was helpful. This is really similar to the Cal Lab, um, and you should be able to measure r, the radius at which your cow is orbiting. You should be able to measure the angle, or maybe use some geometry knowledge, like tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, and you could measure these guys. And you always know that since we're on the planet Earth, G is about 9.81. All right, so I hope this video has been helpful, and we will see you tomorrow. Um, hopefully this will help you get started on the Cal Lab.